One of the first purchases you're going to want to make is a set of sticks uh, or tripod. In this case, you have uh, four different types here. You can see they vary in size and weight and obviously in capacity. So this uh, cheaper tripod is also significantly lighter. Obviously, it's easier to travel with. You can hold it one hand. In general, the heavier the better. You're also not going to be able to put a full rig or a long lens on here. Whereas this uh, O'Connor here is significantly heavier. You have to take it up two hands and it's significantly more sturdy. So we're going to talk about all the individual uh, advantages of each as well as the price points. So one of the first pieces of kit you're going to want to make your video look a bit more professional is a tripod or sticks. Uh, the reason is shaky video that's handheld looks amateurish. Uh, the other reason being that locked off video that doesn't move is also amateurish. So you're going to want a good fluid head. Fluid head simply means you can pan it left to right as well as tilt it up and down in a very fluid manner. Uh, you can actually adjust the resistance of the tilt right here on the left and of the pan on the back. What differentiates this uh, lower end uh, fluid head from most and tripod is that it actually has a bowl. One of the professional ways to quickly and easily level your tripod when you put it down on the ground. You also notice there's a quick release plate up here. In the end, if you're really starting and you're on a, on a budget, uh, go ahead and start with this model. If you think you're going to stick with this and invest into more gear over time, I probably would recommend you skip over this uh, price point, uh, mostly because it really doesn't support a lot of weight, it's not going to be nearly as durable, and just look at the size of this head and these pair of sticks compared to the higher end models, this being the extreme. But there's a reason for that and we'll talk about that as we go on. Now if I were trying to make a long term investment starting in video and didn't want to start at the base level, I really would go towards uh, this 504 HD for Manfrotto. Uh, it's at a really attractive price point of around right, right, just above $900 for both the head and the sticks. And you're getting a really high quality product for that. Uh, first we're going to talk about the sticks real quick. This is the more traditional still sticks, three legs uh, that you retract in the same way you would with those traditional sticks. Uh, I actually like this quite a bit. Um, that being said, a lot of video professionals prefer this type of uh, series of sticks that can be uh, adjusted with one hand and also have spreaders that add a little bit to the stability as well as allow you to pick up the tripod and go very, very quickly. Um, uh, you should be able to retract and lower this tripod with just one hand uh, by pushing all three buttons and off to go. So here we are with the 504 HDV head. This is actually a really solidly built head that can support quite a bit of weight. Uh, I used a previous generation of this head to shoot Jamie O'Brien's film First Look. Uh, at times putting a red here along with a 500mm f4 or a 600. So it can handle quite a bit of, bit of weight and as you start to put your different HDSLR rigs on here it will handle that weight as well. Uh, it's got a lot of really nice controls. It's got a, a quick release plate here as well um, as well as a nice fluid drag system that has quite a bit more control than what you had in these smaller models. Um, you can actually see there are numbers on here that allow you to dial in specific numbers of drag for both tilt and pan. And that's actually really important. Uh, what that allows you to do is to change the way the head works uh, depending on how much weight you have on it and also depending on how fast or slow you want the move to make. Having them independent of one another is also key as well as the ability to lock uh, the head either with pan or tilt. It's very common to only have to do tilts or only pans. As you can see, you can mount the arm on either side. You can extend it or retract it and mount it from in about any angle. And this tripod will go super, super low. One cool other little feature is a bubble back here with a light on it. That may seem like a little bit of an extravagance, but when you're at night uh, and in a rush, it's a really cool thing to have. Um, so for your money, this is a fantastic initial investment and you're not gonna regret it for years to come until you really wanna go into the high-end type stuff. So if we're talking about investments, the O'Connor 1030HD can be considered a lifetime investment. If you buy this head and the series of sticks, you'll use it for the rest of your career. Uh, this is one of those things you buy, like a good piece of glass that you use uh, for 10, 20, 30 years. O'Connor makes uh, the majority of tripods in the motion picture business. This 1030HD uh, is the perfect model for HDSLRs because you can really load this up uh, with a full kit or a very long lens. And what really separates this uh, from the uh, other tripods we've been looking at is the finesse in terms of the way the head moves. One of the first features is that you have a very clear and easy access to the fluid tilt with a number readout here as well. Uh, again, it's extremely smooth and accurate and will give you a really easy way to control the speed of your tilt. You'll also notice a counterbalance in the back. 
This is a really cool thing in that it allows you to balance the camera in terms of the resistance so that when you have the tilt unlocked, the camera, if it's properly balanced, will not go forward or backward. You all notice that at times you let go of the camera and it'll snap forward, you know, breaking your fingers or cutting your hand, not to mention potentially being a disaster with the whole camera going over. If you balance the O'Connor right, you can let go of the fluid head and it doesn't move at all. That's what's really, really cool about it. So that's a feature that this, this tripod has, as well as the ability to slide the plate forward or backward. So if you need to add a different lens with different weight point or center of gravity, uh, this will allow you to very quickly uh, adjust that center of gravity with, as you can see, one or two quick moves. Uh, like any tripod, uh, the handle goes on either end, it extends. It also has a light for the bubble, which is really useful again at night or when you're in a rush. And then it has one of the best quick release plates in the business. Uh, off it comes and is a very clear and definite uh, feedback to when your camera is locked and loaded. As far as I'm concerned, uh, it's just one of those investments you can make and never look back. Uh, you'll never need a different head unless you go to a very heavy camera system like the RED or Panavisions. Uh, for HDSLRs, this is what you consider to be a lifetime investment.